Suppose that I want to make a position versus time graph based on a velocity versus time graph. I'm going to need to figure out individual displacements for each segment of the velocity versus time graph. So to do that, I'm going to divide the velocity versus time graph up into four segments. In my first segment here, I have a displacement of 4 times 6. And 4 times 6 is 24, so this is 24 meters in the positive direction. Here I have a negative 8 times 2, and so that's negative 16 meters, so 16 meters in the negative direction. And here I have 4 times 1, so this is positive 4 meters. Now that I know this, I can start thinking about how to number my position graph. So I go positive 24, I come back 16, and I go 4 forward again. So I don't need to number any higher than 24. Let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes. Um, if I number by 4s, I can do, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, well, that won't work. What if I number by fives? I could number by fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. OK. So in four seconds, I go 24 meters. So in the first four seconds, I'm going to have to get up to 24 meters away. Uh, and then I'm going to use a ruler to draw a nice line here. And then I'm going to come back 16 meters. So I got to do 24 minus 16. Uh, can I do that in my head? No. 24 minus 16. 14 minus 6. That's 8. One minus six, so 8 meters. So I'm going to wind up at 8 meters, and that's going to be here. And I'm going to wind up there at time equals 6 seconds. That's 5, 10. So 8's going to be there. So I'm going to need to use my ruler again draw in the line. Then I stand still for a second. So I'm going to stand still for one second. And then I'm going to travel four meters in the next second. So eight plus four, that's 12. So that's going to be to about here. And using my ruler, I'm going to put in that distance. OK? So my slope here is 0, but my slope here should be 6, because this is at 6. 6 is exactly between 4 and 8. So let's see, is my slope 6? Well, I went up 24 in 4 seconds. So 24 divided by 4, uh, yeah, that's 6. So the slope is 6. So that matches this. Here, my slope should have been negative 8. So I'm going from 24 down to 8 in 2 seconds. 24 minus 8, that's 16. So that's 16 divided by 2. That's 8. So yes, I do have a slope of 8. Here, 0 velocity, so I need a slope of 0. And here, I need a slope of 4. And I'm going, let's see, from 8 to 12 in 1 meter. So 12 minus 8, that's 4 divided by 1 is 4. So that's my slope of 4. So that's what you want to look for whenever you're doing a position versus time graph based on a velocity graph.